to go. Launched in early 2011, the Nintendo 3DS came with a hefty price tag and few sales as a result. Less than six months after it launched, Nintendo was forced to reduce the price of its 8th generation handheld console by nearly 33%. The price reduction worked because soon sales took off and the 3DS eventually became a success after a rather slow start. In fact, during the console's lifespan, Nintendo managed to sell over 76 million units before it was discontinued in September of 2020. The main innovative feature of the 3DS was the stereoscopic 3D effects of the handheld without the use of 3D glasses or additional accessories. Although some were mesmerized by this feature, others found it to be a useless gimmick. Throughout its nine half year history, the Nintendo 3DS received multiple redesigns to keep the handheld console relevant for gaming fans, including the Nintendo 3DS XL and the new Nintendo 3DS. Among its greatest classics, you will find The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, Super Mario 3D Land, Pokemon Sun and Moon, Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, New Super Mario Bros. 2, and of course, Mario Kart 7. In this tutorial, I will show you how to best set up the Citra emulator so that you can play some amazing 3DS games in Bato Citra. Let's do it! Greetings everyone and welcome to Batasara Nation. As promised, today we're going to be looking at the Citra of the 3DS emulator. So, first thing is first, let's go ahead and see find out what kind of files uh, it needs. So according to Batasara, these are the files that the Citra emulator will accept. Turns out there's another one, CCI. If you have a CCI file, it will in fact accept it. Uh, there's a mistake with the Batocera system, but there's a way to fix that, okay? Later on, I'm going to show you how it can read the CCI files, okay? But for the time being, we will just work with these right now, okay? All right, so you have some backup copies. So you're good to go. Just make sure you copy those into a portable hard drive and that has one of these extensions, all right? If you don't know how to make a backup copy of your games, uh, let's go ahead and go back to our favorite little site, Internet Archive, okay? So I went to the software capsule compilation, okay, and I went ahead and I typed 3DS, uh, and this is what popped up, okay. The most promising is this one uh, and this one right here, okay. So if I click on that one, we're going to focus on this one. Uh, this is what we see, and unfortunately, the torrent is not complete. Uh, if you have a Linux computer, uh, there is a solution to that, okay. It's right here. Uh, but if you don't have a Linux computer, um, then you can just go ahead, click on Show All, uh, and then you'll see the whole set right there, okay? Uh, then you can search for the game you want, and you can go ahead and, and download it. So we can see here, from there you can just go ahead and download it. You can see here that the vast majority of them are 3DS extension. Uh, this is an encrypted uh, file format. There is an easy way to decrypt them. I'm going to show you that in a little bit, okay? But for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and just copy two games, okay? And these are the ones I'm going to be working with. The CXI extension, those are the ones that are already decrypted, so you don't have to worry about uh, decrypting them, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and copy these into my portable hard drive, which they're already there. Uh, and then I'm going to boot up Batoseta, and we're going to get these games up and running in no time. So, I see in a little bit. Okay, so we're back in about to set and let's go ahead and copy the files. Let's press F1 on the keyboard. I go into my portable drive, which is right here. I go into my ROMs folder, my 3DS. Go ahead and select all. Copy and go into my ROMs folder, 3DS, paste. And that was easy. All right, let's go ahead and close that out. Let's go into start, uh, back of select, game settings, update games list, yes. All right, 3DS should be in there. Let's look for it. 
There it is, right there. All right, so let's go ahead and scrape these two. So press start on your gamepad. Go into scrape. And I'm going to scrape from that source, as I usually do. And make sure videos are turned on. Here's some fan art. Uh, all right. Shouldn't take too long. All right, it's finished. Let's go ahead and back out of this. Great. Press start. Game settings. Update games list. Yes. And there it is. Nice. Looks really nice, huh? Okay. All right, so let's go and play some Mario Kart 7. So on your gamepad, press select or back. Let's go into advanced system options. Emulator. So we have two versions of Citra. We got the standalone version and we got the libretto version, okay? We'll go ahead and start off with the standalone version, right? So there aren't that many options here. So let's go ahead and just change the screen layout. Let's go, I like large screen. Plus that gives us a chance to look at the graphics better. All right. Mario So that was able to handle with no problem. Um, again, it's going to advanced system options. You can see there's no way to spruce up the graphics, okay? Um, so there's a way. Before we spruce it up, let me go ahead and show you when I'm running this on. Press start, go into system settings, information. You can see I am using a Ryzen chip, 4700U, okay? Uh, and I chose this deliberately because this will run easily on my Intel NUC computer. Uh, the perception is that AMD cannot handle 3DS. For the longest time, that perception was true. But it turns out, at least with these latest 4000 chip series, uh, AMD can handle 3DS. I'm going to show you how. So let's go ahead and press uh, F1. Go into Applications. And there it is right there. Okay. Go into emulation, configure, graphics. Here it is, right? That's native. Let's crank this up all the way to six. Okay. At one point, AMD would not be able to handle this, let alone 2X. Okay. And uh, everything else is the same. In terms of controls, you can change the, the configuration here. Uh, in fact, I kind of like to have these switched around. So, and then give it a brand new name. Call it new. All right. And that's it. Anything else? Default settings. I can get out of this. And 
let's go play some Mario Kart. As you saw, it was able to handle 6X without any trouble at all. How about Super Mario 3D Land? Well, I do have to crank that one down a little bit. So let's go ahead and escape and press F1. Go back into the applications. Go into the search emulator. Configure. Let's bring it down to, to 4X, which is still pretty good. Huh? All right, let's go ahead. All right.
You can see that also was able to handle that game in 4X, all right? So again, the perception that AMD cannot handle 3DS emulation, well, that's gone. It does a really good job with the Ryzen uh, 4000 chip, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and test the libretto version. Let's go into Advanced System Options, Emulator. All right, let's get out of this. And let's go to Mario Kart. And I get that error message. Okay, fatal error encounter, me data. So let's go ahead and fix this. And we need to go to Windows for this. So this is the website I found that helped me solve the problem. Okay, so go ahead and click on this. Ignore this right here, okay? Go ahead and click on that. That will bring you to this, which Go ahead and click on that, and that will bring you to this. And I went with the ZP share, so I went and clicked on that, and that brought me to this. I clicked on this one, and that brought me to this. And I went ahead and clicked on that, and I got the file uh, that I needed, okay? Uh, and this is the file that I need. I went ahead and unzipped it, and there it is, okay? These are the folders that you need to copy and paste and about to set. I'm gonna show you uh, where to copy those folders and about to set up. But first, go ahead and copy those folders into a portable hard drive so we can then copy those into about to set up. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're back in about to set up. Let's go ahead and press F1, the keyboard. Let's go to my portable hard drive right there. Go into ROMs. Go into 3DS. Go into this folder. Go into user folder. Okay, go ahead and Select all, control A, C, and then go into share. Make sure this view that this show head is selected or it's enabled. Go into saves, go into 3DS, go into Citra, and here's where you copy everything. Go ahead and paste it, okay? If it gives you this message, go ahead and apply this option to all existing files. It's just going to overwrite things, okay? Overwrite it. Uh, and there it is. Now it should work. Go ahead and close the window. Go back in there. Let's go back in there. All right. You see nothing on the screen, but just go ahead and press the A button. And then you'll see it soon. Mario Kart 7! All right, let's go ahead and spruce up the graphics, okay? So, hot key, A button. And then I go into options, go right here, resolution scale factor. Let's go ahead and pick four, four X, all right, go back there. Let's go back out of there, quick menu, let's go ahead and restart it. Oops, I didn't like that. I'll go ahead and get out of this. All right, let's try it again.
Right, press A. Mario Kart 7! Much better. Mario! So you can see we got it working. Okay, this should be fine as well. See, we got it working. Now, there's one last thing I want to share with you, and that is for those files which are encrypted. How do we fix those? All right. Okay, so we're back in Windows, uh, and again, uh, if you download some of these files, you might find some that are encrypted. Okay, uh, I've got here two files uh, that are in fact encrypted. Okay, so I'm going to first show you what happens in Batocera if you try to run an encrypted file before we come back here for the solution to these encrypted files. All right? All right, so for the final part of my tutorial, I'm going to show you what happens when you try to run an encrypted file with Citra. All right, so let's go ahead and press F1. Let's go into my portable drive. Let's go into ROMs, 3DS, let's go into games. Okay, so we got here these two files. Both of them are encrypted. In fact, this one won't even be seen by Citra, okay? So for the time being, we just worry about this one. 
and copy. Go 3DS and paste it. All right, so it's copying. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Close window, press start, game settings, update games list. All right, now it should be there, right? Now watch what happens. I get that error message. ROM encrypted, right? And it gives you some sort of uh, a guide, but it's not very helpful actually. So I go ahead and enter my, and uh, let's get out of this all together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a Windows app that you can use to decrypt these file, okay? So we're heading back to Windows. Okay, so we're back in Windows because we ran into a problem of trying to play an encrypted file game uh, in Bato Setup. Fortunately, there is a solution. Uh, this is a website I found to help me find a solution to the problem. They provide uh, an app that will help you to decrypt these files and I will be providing a direct link to this website so go ahead uh, and click on that and then go ahead and save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop okay and it's a short little file okay and I'm going to go ahead and put this in my tools uh, yeah okay let's go ahead and open up my two folders and uh, there's the app right okay go ahead and unzip that right and that will bring me to this right here okay there's a bunch of stuff here right the only thing you have to worry about is this one right here okay so let's go back these two are the ones that are encrypted so go ahead and uh, move that into that folder okay and there they are okay go ahead and click on this one double click on this one and then you'll see that you see a bunch of files being created. That's part of the process. So don't worry about all that. All right, it's done. So click on any key on your keyboard, and it's done. So there they are. So here we have Star Fox. Okay, we're going we're to go ahead and copy that one. And then for the other one, New Super Mario Bros. 2, notice that it created a new extension. Uh, it went from CIA, which is the encrypted version, to CCI, which is the decrypted version. Okay, so we're also going to go ahead and copy that into a folder, put it into a portable hard drive, and then we'll go ahead and boot up Batoseta and copy and paste it there. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so we're back in Batoseta. Let's go ahead and copy and paste the decrypted files. Press F1, go into my portable hard drive, go into my ROMs folder, 3DS games okay so these are the decrypted files go ahead and select all and copy and go into ROMs 3DS and paste it all right I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one this is the encrypted version okay we don't need that no more so move to trash all right so it turns out that this CCI file according to this right here supposedly not going to read it but I know for a fact that Citra does read CCI files okay so there's a mistake here and there's a way to fix that so before we boot it up let's go ahead and fix the mistake okay let's go into share and let's go into the root directory let's go into this here go into share go into emulation station right there and let me go ahead and have a better view of this all right this is the file that we need to change okay uh, and ideally you shouldn't mess around with this file at all but in this case it's a simple fix okay so let's go ahead and double click on that it's going to open it up and there's the Nintendo 3DS okay so this this little thing here will tell um, the emulator only look for these files okay but again we know that it will accept CCI files so go ahead and just add it in there okay save it and quit okay now we can go ahead and exit this all together close the window and go ahead and press start 
game settings, update games list. All right. And there they are. All right. So let's go ahead and do that one first. Can see boot it up. No problem. Let's get out of this. Again, you can see it boot up really well. Uh, let's go ahead and go into advanced system. I'll just try it with the uh, libretto version. Okay. Go ahead, select this game. Now notice some different language. <laughs> Russian. All right, so go ahead, press the hotkey and the A button uh, to get into the Retro Arch menu. Go into options. There it is. Right there. System region. Go ahead, pick. Well, depending upon where you live, okay, you can pick one of these. If you're in the English speaking world, you can pick USA. All right. All right. And click all together. All right, now go ahead and load it up again. And there we go, fixed. Let's go ahead and try the other one, Star Fox. And let's go ahead and select that one. What's up? All right. Okay, let's get out of this so we know it's working. Okay. Now, Star Fox, for some reason, when I select the standalone version, etc., it doesn't work. All right. It just does that, and it kind of hangs in there. And I tried look, looking for different ways to fix it, uh, and I couldn't figure it out. So, let's go ahead and get out of it. So, at least we know that this game does work uh, with uh, Liberato version. Okay. The retro arch version okay all right okay so that is a wrap if you found this video useful please go ahead and like it that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing I've got a lot more videos coming up in the near future thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time on Batos at a Nation bye